I was going for Christmassy with like the red and green backlights, but these are awful colors for skin tones. So sorry about that, but we're going with it. Hey, Sean, if Christmas is your thing, Merry Christmas. I'm recording this. It's technically Christmas Eve. It's like just after midnight. If Christmas is your thing, Merry Christmas. If not, I, I hope that you enjoy these couple of days while much of the world seems to very loudly celebrate their holiday. Um, whichever holidays you celebrate, I hope that you have happy, healthy, and safe holidays. I wanted to make this video as a quick reminder to myself, and after a few quick conversations today, this is one of those things where as I was talking to a couple people about it, they were like, you should make a video about this because other people may need to hear what we're all talking about as well. And, and that is, 2021 was a rough year for a lot of people in a lot of ways. And I think the spectrum of how bad things can be was wider than it's been in years past. For some, everyone had a hard time, but some people had a really, really hard time. And as we, we come to the new year and have this sort of forced reckoning of what kind of year it's been, what we want next year to look like, Along with that comes these winter holidays, and for many of us, this is an unavoidable moment to recognize loss that has happened in the past year. And, and even this year, I think, is extra unique in that last year, the winter holidays, for most people, required a lot of sacrifice, and they didn't look like the, the traditional holidays, and these are maybe, this year's maybe getting back to some of that, but for anyone... And there are a lot of people, for anyone who's lost anyone in the past two years, really, this might be the time where, where, where you're dealing with that, where you're, you're realizing the empty seat. And it can be a very sad thing. And while the, the entire narrative about, especially Christmas, but all the winter holidays, is this joyous, festive, wonderful time of happiness and merriment, but in the face of that, for a lot of people, there can be some sadness. And this is true of any holiday, any year. But I don't think it's a stretch to say that this year there's going to be a lot more people feeling some loss, feeling some stress, feeling some sadness from things that they're forced to reckon with this year from the past year and, and, and the year before that. And so I wanted to make this video as a reminder to myself, and, and maybe it's helpful to you too, but give yourself a little bit of time. Be patient with yourself because you're allowed to feel any of the emotions that you're going to feel. And if you waste any time feeling bad about those emotions or like if, if, if everyone is happy around you and you're just sort of sad thinking about something, that's okay. And don't, don't force yourself out of that. Embrace those emotions and sit with them for as long as you need to sit with them and find joy where you can find it and appreciate the sadness where you can. And, and, know that no part of you should feel guilty for these feelings. And at the same time, extend that not just to yourself, but to everyone around you. We are all dealing with things this year. And as we're scrambling maybe to finish gift buying, I hope when you're watching this, if, if you're watching this, I hope you've finished any gift buying if that's something that you do. But in all that, there have been no shortage of people who have brought that to reality for you. There have been retail clerks, there have been delivery drivers, there have been manufacturers and people in fulfillment centers all over the country, all over the world, who are, are doing their job and making it possible for you to have the holiday that you're going to have and some of the happy moments that you'll hopefully have. It's due to the hard work of a lot of other people. And so A, be grateful for that and give people a little bit of space, give people a little bit of room, but also understand that every one of these people is probably dealing with the same things that you're dealing with. And remembering that and, and giving people that room to feel the same things that you might be feeling is so important. And as we, as we, we drive around in these next few days, and as we, maybe if you're going to parties, please do so safely and responsibly, but as you do, maybe leave a bit of room for somebody to merge. Maybe this isn't the time to cut somebody off. Um, put down your phone, smile at a clerk, whatever you've got going on. If you've got just a little bit in yourself 
to be generous to, to someone else with a little bit of time, a little bit of kindness, a little bit of happiness. It can have such a huge impact on that individual and on our community, our society, our world in general. The holidays are a time where many people get sentimental and we're dealing with things and having just that little bit of, whether you want to call it Christmas cheer or, or whatever, can go such a long way. And you need to go to both sides of that. You need to extend that to yourself and be patient and generous with yourself and then share that patience and generosity with anyone that you may come into contact with all year round. This isn't unique to right now, but I think right now is when a lot of people are being forced to reckon with these emotions and we might all need just a little bit of space. And as we're dealing with family coordination for holidays and things like that, I know for me, I may be having struggles with people maybe not wanting to adhere to the same safety protocols about the, the virus and, and the pandemic as, as I would want. And I know on the other side of that, there's people who are frustrated that, that they may think somebody's being overly cautious and that's annoying and they wish they could just have this if this person would stop being such a, a wiener. This is what I think people think about me. But there's stress in all of this and people are just trying to have a holiday where they can find some happiness, some normalcy, and you may have to be a part of that. But understand that your stresses are stresses that they may feel maybe just from the other side, from a different perspective. And so give yourself a little bit of room, advocate for yourself and whatever you need to do to be comfortable and safe and responsible. But remember that we're all dealing with this, we're all figuring this out, and we're all tiptoeing hopefully back towards some sort of new normal. And in that, we all just need a little bit of space from ourselves and from one another. So that is my message to myself and my message to you these holidays. I hope you have a fantastic holiday season and find joy where you can find it and share it with others when you can. And don't be afraid to feel any other emotions that you may feel nonviolently. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing a little bit of your your holidays with me. See you later. Bye.